What up, what up? Back out in the uh, big bad Borrego Springs, California. Mainly came out to um, get away from all the rains that have been happening up in uh, North County. Well, shit, the whole state, I guess. But um, let's get to it. If I'm uh, not mistaken, within the past week or so, it's um, it's rained out here as well. So a lot of the plants are just um, like here's a good example, just pushing tons of blooms. If you look closely, there's um, insects in there. Um, you know whether they're pollinating or just grabbing a meal. I'm not not 100% sure. Still cool to see um, life, you know, thriving. Here's a really good example of the color contrast of how this plant just, you know, stands out. Got a, got a couple pancakes here. I'm super curious as to what causes them to deflate um, like a balloon. Again with the pink blooms. I could just look at these all day. The uh, petals are super um, thin and like paper like. This is a good example of uh, fully opened pharaoh cactus blooms. my opinion the uh feral cactus blooms are super cool looking but definitely not as um appealing as the pink opuntia blooms this focaria um appeared to be really happy just um pushing blooms from every part that it possibly could great dark red colors um they're not fully open if I'm not mistaken, these plants are um, dioecious, which is just a fancy word that um, means they need both male and female flowers in order to make seed and reproduce. Got this cute little, uh, I don't know, probably marigold, desert marigold. While it's cool to see the wildflowers, they're not, um, you know, not something that fires my rocket, per se. Um, this one right here is uh, Desert Verbena, I believe, or Dune Verbena, something like that. Um, the color is cool, and the shape of the flower as well. Um, the rest of the plant just kind of looks like a weed to me, though. Um, you know, same, same kind of thing with these guys. If you just remove the bloom from it, I would just assume that this is a weed. Um, which kind of is um, the case with most um, California natives, in uh, my personal opinion anyways. They kind of all resemble invasive shrubs to a certain extent. I think that's why I uh, fuck with cactus so much, because I mean it doesn't really matter what time of year it is, um, you know, whether they're actively growing or dormant, blooming or not, they're just, you know, they always got some type of visual appeal to them. And to me, this thing is a trip right here. It's the uh, carcass of a feral cactus but it looks exactly like octopus tentacles. And next to this heap of death is new life. Something I always enjoy seeing, um, especially on the youngsters. 
they always have this um, habit of having such defined and bold spines. Get up in there so you can see. And then as they get um, older, they typically tend to lose that characteristic. Um, at least, you know, the, sp the spination is still there as far as the um, density, but it's just not as bold. You can see as it goes down here, and, you know, obviously ignore the years of abuse down there at the base, um, but you can see how up at the top it's got more intense spination, but not nearly as um, bold and defined as the youngsters. And here's another good example on the variability of the uh, spines on the youngsters. This older one here is pushing out blooms almost in like a descending order. This uh, folk area obviously got blown over at some point in time, and it's uh, well on its way to being dead, but the base here provides some great visuals. The uh, bark and color pattern is something that I personally enjoy in the genus folk area. I don't know what this is. It's got like pine leaves type. I don't know. Weird. Well, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. It's a wrap. Stay tuned.